morning friends i know i look kind of crazy but this is just how i do my hair honestly whenever i do like these little like roller things they're not even rollers i honestly just roll it up and like put a little clip in it it lasts for days like then i really only have to put heat on my hair once a week depending on how many times i wash it but anyways welcome back i feel like i haven't vlogged in so long but I'm here, so I thought it would be a good idea to show you what I'm typically eating in a day, especially since my goals have kind of shifted. Right now, I'm trying to build my glutes without gaining too much excess fat, so I'm going to be tracking my food. I don't, I haven't, I haven't done this really in the past. I did it for, I would go like off and on if I felt like I was getting off track. But I'm trying to be really specific with my goals right now and I think it's important to track your macros or at least mine at this moment with my goals just because I feel like it'll help me stay on track and really just be aware of what I'm putting in my body um, and making sure that I'm putting the right things. So I will be using this app called Lifesum. So this is actually the app that I always use to track my macros whenever I go like off and on. And I'm so grateful to be partnering with them today because I've literally used this for like years. So Lifesum's app is free. However, there is an option to upgrade to the premium. And with the premium, there's just a lot more features that you have access to. Like I'm going to read off the difference between free. So free, you have food and trading diary and habit trackers. But if you have premium, you get access to both of those personalized diets, access to their recipe base, which is really good by the way. That's like one of the hardest parts about staying consistent for me is having like yummy, healthy food that is in align with my macros. Macro tracking, which is really nice, gives you a life score and weekly health advice, gives you a food meal slash day rating, body composition tracking, which is really cool, gives you different meal, meal plans. So if you're vegan, keto, whatever it is, and then automatic exercise tracking. So the premium definitely has all of the features. Anyways, I'm gonna go and start my breakfast. I'm so starving. Um, and I'm gonna kinda do a screen recording and show you how I use it for my first meal. All right, so I'm about to eat my breakfast and I'm going to start a little screen recording so you can kinda see the flow of the app. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to show you how clean and simple this app is. It's a reason why I've been loyal to Lifesum. It's just because when I go on it, it is just so organized and aesthetically pleasing. I am going to log in my breakfast. As you can see, I have 2,100 calories left. So that's what I'm eating for the whole day. I'm going to go in and log my breakfast. I'm going to hit the scan the barcode. You guys, this is like the best feature ever. It makes it so easy. And then, as you can see, I'm having little sausages. I'm just going to log that in. And then, as you can see, it adds at the top of, um, you know, the app where it shows you your calories and stuff. And it shows you, like, it enters in the macros for you, which is really nice. Makes it super simple and easy. Now, I'm going to go back and log my cereal. So I just realized I actually can't scan the milk because this is raw milk from a local farmer. Guys, I highly encourage you to support your local farmers, especially in times like these. Um, but anyways, watch this. Go back to... Wait, I need screen reports. Sorry, guys. Go back to breakfast, and I'm going to type in whole milk. And I'm just going to select... Probably just the Trader Joe's one. I don't really know which one would be equal. I think all whole milk is just the same. So that is how I log my food. If you want to check out Lifesum, I will leave a link in the description box below. It will be to a 55% off discount um, for a premium subscription. So I'll leave a link if you want to check it out. Anyways, I want to kind of share this with you. Um, 
I'm really passionate about like clean brands. It's not focusing. I'm really passionate about clean brands that taste good and that are just good for you because there's so many brands out there that claim to be healthy that literally have like artificial flavors, colors, seed oils, natural flavors, all of these like just bad things that are not good for your body. And so I'm really passionate about sharing brands that I found that are actually really, really good and they're clean and you feel good after eating it. So one is Lovebird. This is a grain-free cereal. I do try to eat gluten-free for the most part. So the majority of my day is gluten-free. However, if I go out to like eat or something, I'll definitely have like a piece of pizza if it looks good. So I'm not super strict, but for the most part, gluten-free. So I'm just gonna read with you like how clean these ingredients are. Organic cassava flour, organic coconut flour, organic honey, organic coconut sugar, organic strawberry powder, organic coconut oil, Redmond Real sea salt, love that, organic beet juice powder, and organic lemon oil. Like, do you know how many freaking cereals are out there that are strawberry flavored that have artificial flavors, not natural flavors and artificial coloring like this is colored with beetroot to make it pink like that is so cool i don't know i just love it and you feel good after eating it um so 10 out of 10 what would recommend they have a bunch of other flavors like cinnamon and chocolate which i alternate between them all um so yeah love bird i love you i also want to give you another little tip for just clean eating so a lot of the times in your like olive oil sprays there'll be a bunch of other ingredients in there like propellant or just this these random things that don't need to be in there so when you are looking for a spray olive oil look for one that just says organic extra virgin olive oil or just olive oil like it doesn't need to have any other ingredient in there um that's a big one that i didn't realize daily that i was using that had unnecessary ingredients that my body didn't recognize um so yeah check your oils and make sure that they are 100 percent that oil um and yeah it's lunch time and i'm gonna make some ground chicken tacos um i'm gonna use about a half of the ground chicken pack i think it's about a pound so i'm gonna eat half a pound cut up some onions cottage cheese and then the siete crunchy taco um shells see my horse I haven't introduced you guys yet so you guys are gonna meet Cashew for the first time he's a painted Palomino quarter horse and he's about three years old so when I was first looking for a horse I kind of had like my little checklist I was like okay I want a horse with really sweet calm energy I wanted a painted Palomino quarter horse I wanted him to be older just because I'm new to horses so I really wanted a sweet old horse that would just take care of me when I'm up on the saddle um and when I met Cashew he checked all the boxes except for the fact that he's three years old which was a little bit scary for me just because I'm so new but I met him it just like felt right like he just he has the sweetest energy like when I hold my hand up like with a snack like he just lightly hovers and like grabs the carrot or whatever he's not like aggressive like trying to push me out of the way for a treat he just is the sweetest calmest little baby um and I just felt that connection with him right away and so I, I found a lot of beauty in the idea of growing with a horse since I'm new Cashy's only three he's just 
exploring the world um, and so I'm really excited to kind of learn together and to build that bond. I've been learning a lot about natural horsemanship too which is kind of treating the horse more as a partner rather than your property and you start off by building a bond on the ground which is currently the stage that I'm in and through bonding with Cashew and learning how to trust each other I'm learning so much about myself and it's just been really fun it's been a really cool like grounding experience anyways I can't wait for you guys to meet him he's the cutest thing ever I just look at him and I'm like he kind of reminds me of Harley in a way I don't know they have like the same really sweet energy um so yeah I'm gonna head out there Cashews and I'm gonna have a little snack. Um, I'm gonna have a chomps as per usual. This is a taco beef stick and I actually just tried this flavor and it's so good. It literally tastes like a Taco Bell taco bomb. Um, and then I'm gonna have these grain-free tortilla chips. Um, nacho flavor but it's dairy free. It's literally, it tastes like Doritos, you guys. Like, I feel like I'm eating freaking Taco Bell and Doritos every day because of these snacks. And they're so clean. Um, here's what it looks like. Siete, literally like the best brand. Like the taco shells that I just made my lunch with. Siete. Everything Siete, I love it. Um, yeah, so just the usual. Anyways, I'm gonna snack on these and then I'm gonna go out and play with Cashew. walking cashew eating some dried whole cherries a lot of brands will sneak in bad ingredients and you gotta watch out this one is literally only cherries like we love that and sometimes they'll add water which is fine to like rehydrate it but anyways if you're having like a sweet craving like you want like something more like sweet and sour kind of vibe like a gummy bear or something whole cherries do the job they satisfy it um and then you can get tart cherries if you want more of like a warhead kind of sour patch kid taste literally so good like this is my little hack i'll bring this into the movie theaters and i won't crave candy so <laughs> this brand is called hello i'm ugly because apparently dried fruit is ugly but yeah it's good hey off the counter so for dinner, I am going to reheat some leftovers. The other day I made this cowboy chili. It's literally so good. Um, and I have some leftovers, so I'm just gonna heat that up. Michael is getting dinner with his friend, so I don't wanna like cook this whole big meal. But I'm definitely gonna need some more protein after this. So I'm probably gonna make a protein shake tonight just to hit my macros. Um, yeah, I have been getting into cooking a lot more recently and I've actually like had a lot of fun with it And I think the reason I'm having fun is because I'm getting really good feedback from Michael And it just like he's like the funnest person to cook for because he will be like mm, mm, And he'll like close his eyes and he's just so expressive when he really likes food And so it makes me feel really good about myself. I'm like, yeah, like I did I did that um, and it's just like a whole other feeling when your man loves your cooking. I don't know. It just makes you feel good. So I've been having a lot of fun with that. And yeah, I've been making like chuck roast. I've been making a lot of like stew. 
um I, I made a whole chicken i think the fact that i like made a whole chicken and it came out successful that means i'm ready to be a wife like that's how that makes me feel for some reason it's like i made a whole chicken like i did so good um anyways i've been making all these things and it's been really fun and i've always wanted to get better at cooking i grew up with basically a chef my mom is like the best cook in the entire world like i prefer her food over any five star michelin star restaurant like she's the best cook ever so i want to follow in her footsteps because i want my kids to feel the way that i feel about her cooking i think it's just a really special feeling like mom is cooking nothing like it so i'm trying to um learn and i'm so lucky that i have the best teacher to learn from so i'm excited to start cooking and let me know if you want me to share some of the recipes with you because i definitely can post it on cute speech or something like that so let me know in the comments below i'm adding a little bit of cottage cheese to my chili i used to hate cottage cheese and i used to be like really scared of it because like ew it looks so gross <laughs> but it's actually really good <clears throat> And the macros are pretty bomb on this. Um, only two grams of fat per serving, 14 grams of protein, and four carbs. This is a low fat one. Um, so yeah, it's literally two grams of fat for half of a cup. Like, are you kidding me? And 14 grams of protein? This adds so much protein to my meal. So, little tip guys. Um, Nancy's low fat cottage cheese. We love this one. Super easy way to up your protein. Um, oh my gosh, one time I made this cottage cheese cookie dough and it was actually fire. It was it was actually really good and Michael ended up eating it all and I hardly got any, but anyways, it was really good. So give cottage cheese a chance. I know it's scary, but yeah. Oh, I don't know if I told you this, but I also added rice to my chili for some carbs. Um, cause I'm feeling a little low on carbs today, so FYI. I'm gonna start winding down for the day and I'm gonna shower, get ready for bed, and then I'm gonna wrap some presents while Michael is gone. Um, we're actually spending Christmas at home in Nashville. We're not going anywhere, which to be honest, I feel really relieved to finally be able to be in one place for a long period of time. I feel like... When you're in one place, it's really easy to accomplish your goals, especially if it's like fitness goals. Um, so I'm actually really happy to be home for Christmas and I can kind of spend it the way that I want, kind of create our own little traditions, which is really fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap some presents, long story short, <laughs> and get ready for bed. And then I'll probably have a protein shake or something, but... I'll keep you updated with the diet. I'm gonna use milk almond milk the reason I'm using almond milk is because I want a little bit less fat than like whole milk um, and this is the milk brand it's the flavor vanilla the reason I like milk is because it's literally just water almonds vanilla extract and sea salt like that is those are the only ingredients super clean no gum, no fillers, no artificial flavors, no extra added vitamins that don't need to be there. Um, whenever I get like a matcha from a regular coffee shop and they use like silk almond milk or Khalifa Farms or whatever, I notice I get really bloated. And I think it's because of all the extra ingredients that are in those almond milks. And then I make one at home with milk almond milk and I don't get bloated. So I notice a huge difference when I have the clean almond milk. Put in some ice. Okay, now I'm gonna do some protein powder. I'm gonna do pasture raised micellar casein. The reason I'm doing casein powder 
is because it's better to have this at night time because it's a slow release of protein um, throughout the night if you have it at night. Then I'm going to put in some of my Ion gut support. This is actually ancient soil water and it's really cool. Y'all should check out this brand, Ion. They're pretty cool. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. It's my little secret to make them taste really good. This is literally like the best almond butter type of thing. So it's a chocolate sea salt almond butter. Really clean ingredients. It's just almonds, chocolate, cacao nibs, honey, and sea salt. So clean and it's, mm, it's so good. This is the brand. It literally makes your smoothies taste like... A, a cookie dough like milkshake or something. I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. Alrighty y'all, I'm done eating for the day. So I'm gonna show you my life sum score. My day rating is a smiley face, which is pretty good. I am only 32 calories under, which is fine for me. Um, it says I'm low on protein, which is honestly okay because I um, have had enough for my body weight. But anyways, I'm probably going to check out now that the eating day is over. If you want to check out LifeSum, I will leave a link in the description box below. It will have a 55% off discount for a premium membership. But other than that, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm so tired. So I'll see you next time. That yummy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good.